Hey my YouTube friends and family, this is Sergeant Kevin Watson, the Noble Cop. So today the 26th of April 2017, eight persons, eight persons were extradited to the United States of America today for their involvement in lottery scamming activities. They were a part of a lottery scam network led by Laverick Willocks. And these eight persons include the mother of Laverick Willocks, girlfriend who just had a newborn baby, other family members, and a few of his friends. A police officer was also among the eight persons extradited today. Lottery scammers are the scourge to which Council for Public Affairs at the U.S. Embassy in Kingston, Joshua Polacek, is referring. He was at the Norman Manley International Airport, where eight accused lottery scammers were boarding a heavily guarded flight to the U.S. The eight are accused of bilking several persons in the U.S. of over five and a half million U.S. dollars. They are to appear in a North Dakota court to answer to several related charges. The head of the Corporate Communications Unit, CCU, Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay, says they are believed to be members of a network of scammers headed by Laverick Willocks, who himself was extradited in January. And when you look at um, the persons who are going, we have two persons from Trelawney. There are, um, there are five from St. James and one from Kingston. Um, we could say we have a family that's going because we now have a mother and son that's going on this flight. And, and prior to, to this flight, she has another son um, that was recently extradited and is now in North Dakota. The operation to nab them is part of an effort involving the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Division, Major Investigation Task Force, and a wide variety of U.S. federal law enforcement agencies, including the Federal Bureau of Investigations, FBI. The collaborating agencies say they are not just confident of convictions, but believe the eight, as well as other scammers currently being investigated, will get the maximum sentences. Every single person that we have extradited under the lotto scam has faced justice in the United States anywhere between 10 and 20 years in a federal penitentiary and we are going to make sure that those people do additional time as we do further investigations, find out that their conspiracy is more, uh, it's broader, we're going to bring additional charges against them. These guys are presently on an indictment with 15 people. Anybody out, I couldn't comment on. There's other people who have been, uh, who have already been convicted in prior indictments. So there's, there's old like indictments and new Williams. indictments, like Sanjay Williams. Mr. Polacek says there are thousands of other cases currently being investigated with hundreds of extradition requests pending in the U.S. He warns that these cases will be targeting major players. We're looking for the big fish, not the, the little, little guys. This sort of conspiracy, not some guy who's working in a boiler room making 10 calls a day. So we, we very much welcome the introduction uh, in the Senate of the uh, plea bargaining uh, legislation here in Jamaica. And we expect that's going to be a way to efficiently deal with these criminals. And of course, other criminals, uh, gang members, gun, gun runners, narco traffickers and murderers as well. This is the largest number of Jamaicans that has been extradited at any one time. Herman Green, TVJ News. Meanwhile, the Jamaican police force says its partnership with U.S. law enforcement has been affecting lottery scamming activities locally. The investigation which led to the extradition of these persons started in 2012 by the FBI and was jointly investigated by the Lottery Scam Task Force. In 2015, I personally went to the United States and gave expert witness testimony in relation to a connected matter. This was the trial of Sanjay Williams, who was known to be a lead list broker. And based on the investigations, it was revealed that Sanjay Williams sold lead list to Laverick Willocks Network. The extradition of these eight persons today to include the police officer is an indication of how serious law enforcement takes this whole lottery scamming matter. And I am sure that you will see many more persons being extradited very soon. Lottery scamming is a serious crime. So I've been asked Mr. Watson, how do you feel about the police officer who was arrested? This is how I feel about it. When you commit a crime, you must do the time. It doesn't matter who you are. No one, absolutely no one 
is above the law. And for me, if you are a police officer and you break the law, then you should feel it more than anyone else because you are placed in a position to uphold the law, to enforce the law, and you should not be a part of the problem. It shouldn't be that you are placed in a position to enforce the law, to curb criminal activities, and then you now become a part of the problem. For those persons who believe that I'm only passionate about the fight against lottery scamming, I want to let you know this evening that I'm passionate about the fight against crime and violence in general. It doesn't matter what the crime is, I'm passionate about law enforcement. But being a part of the lottery scam task force, it is my mandate to investigate these matters and to give these matters my all and that is what I will do. It is full time that we understand how serious lottery scamming is. It is full time we understand how it affects our country and that this fight against lottery scamming is not only local but we have partnered with overseas law enforcement officers. Since investigating these matters I've had the opportunity to work with the Federal Bureau of Investigation the United States Postal Inspection Service and U.S. Marshals. And I want to tell every lottery scammer out there today that the United States of America is very serious about fighting this monster of a crime called lottery scamming. And as a police officer, I am fully on board with the fight. Cause if I scam in your deal with youth, nobody love it. Scam in your say your love, nobody love it. When the jeep with the blue light home, no rude boy can run. That's